So hello and welcome to this video, completely out of order, without any context, but um, yes, I did some little toying around with csharp.net in the last two hours, and I really did little csharp in the last time, so I was really occupied with writing C++ programs, and uh, that is why I have a lack of C sharp tutorials right now, so I will come back to this definitely. But I did some, I had some fun with C sharp, and this is what I produced. It's just a small little tic tac toe for the console in C sharp. I know some of these lines seem to be non existent. Uh, non -existent. I hope it's just the recording software because here it looks great and the way you play it you just hit enter or type in exit or help to get help basically and then you have this small board here you can see the indices for putting your moves in so you can type five and i will type five and it should be uh, should appear in the middle here and it does and now it's o's turn and Maybe we would put our thing here, and I will lose against myself on purpose right now, just because I want to show you that it is completely automatic, so you don't have to keep track yourself if somebody won or not. You can see that player X won in column 2, column 1, column 2, and then the game concluded, and you come back to the title screen, and you can just start all over again by hitting enter, or type in exit, or capital, and then you can see that it is indeed exited. So why I show you this is just simply because if you look on my website, and we do this, mm, so you see that I have a lot of playlists here and they don't work right now. And the Discord bot is too advanced to have a small project after completing the basics tutorial. So after you completed the basics tutorial, you just know the concepts of programming and don't know how to apply them yet. And this project is really easy, so I would like to publish it afterwards and show you how you can do something like this. Um, but I don't know if you're interested in this, so that's why I ask you if you want to see a tutorial about that. Mm -hmm. What you can do right now is you can go to my GitHub repo and I will link it on the website and in the video. And here you can see the code that I use. So if you just go to these three dots and download the zip, you can download it. And then you basically just have to, if you're in the folder, here you are, run tiktok, tic-tac-toe.sln here and you are in the project right, right here and you can start it or what you can do is go into the publish folder and you have a single file application so you can send it anybody, drag it around, drag it on your computer, you don't need dependencies or install other dependencies for that, I mean, you can just run it out of the console here, it's a little bit slower and I don't know why it's, ah, it works, so I don't know what was going on there. Uh, it's a little bit slower and a little bit bigger in size, as you can see, because it's just included in one file. Normally you would have several files with several dependencies self-included. I mean, you have, I guess, 200 files or so. Um, it's not what I wanted for this. I wanted it to be small, or not small, but visually small, so you just have to install or download this one file and you can find it if you're going to publish we'll find it right here the exe also what you can do is if you are in this folder you can go on tic tic toe and then find just um yes basically basically just the code so you could if you're not willing to download it all the time you could just, in theory, uh, create these three files and run it with program.csp being the main file. Okay. What I like about C 
this project is that it is pretty easy. You don't have to have a big knowledge about doing games or doing C sharp especially. And it is nice, it is fun to do with friends. It is extendable so you can easily add your own flavor, your own like picture here maybe, or you could add your own AI that you can play against. So your ideas are pretty it's limitless here. Also I think that this application really much shows how powerful just the console is and what I like about this project is that it shows just how beneficial the limitations of a console can be because I find or I find that the style of having a console game really is appealing. So yes, it is something that you can test and play around with and you can tell me if you want it to be added here um, on the website as a separate video series. So it would appear here just because it's a neat little project that you can go over or that you can follow if you just finish the basics playlist and you are not yet advanced enough to do the Discord bot once this comes out. So yes, leave me your ideas behind and have some fun with the project. And yes, I hope you are all doing fine and we see us in the next videos.